Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. It's been a while since we've talked about custom ROMs. Now, yesterday I was just sitting around getting bored and I thought, let's try a custom ROM on the Mi 10T. That's why I went ahead and installed Lineage OS. Now, Lineage OS is excellent and works like a charm on the Mi 10T. I tweeted about the same that Lineage OS is awesome. But on that tweet, I got a lot of replies saying that please try Dot OS. Now, I particularly was instantly interested in Dot OS because recently I started my own clothing brand called as the Dot company get it dot dot I was instantly interested in the custom ROM because of the name so I went to their website read about the custom ROM downloaded the zip file and installed it on my Mi 10T and I have to say dot OS is very interesting just like dot company Alright, here we go. This is .OS running on my Mi 10T. Now first off, let me quickly go into settings and show you the about phone. So as you can see, .OS version 5.1.3 official and the Android version is Android 11. So running on Android 11, that is a good thing. Now the security patch is August 5th, 2021. So latest security patch as well. And that is a thumbs up from my side. Now this OS is mainly about the customization features. As you can see, when I swipe down over here, you'll see that the color matches the color of the wallpaper. Now this is inspired by Material U, which is an Android 12 and it works like a charm on .OS. For example, if I go and change the wallpaper over here, styles and wallpapers, my photos, and if I select this one right over here, see this red one, and I select apply, home screen, I'll wait for a couple of seconds, go back to the home screen, and now when I swipe down, you can see everything is in this red color. I can also change all these things by going into the settings, then there's a dedicated customization tab over here. Here you can change the wallpapers, the always on display and lock screen, you can change the status bar icons, quick settings, app lock, the lab and the lab is where you can actually change the colors so these are all the colors that it has picked up from the wallpaper and you can change them for example if i want this one i'll just select this one wait for a couple of seconds and here we go the color has been changed so basically you can pick the colors from this tab over here which is called as the lab and this is a very good thing apart from that you can also change the clock face from here you can also change the buttons then there are themes, here's where you can change the font, you can change the icon pack, you can change the icon shapes, accent colors and so on and so forth. Basically you get a lot of customization options and all these options are very modern and follow minimalism as well. That's why I like these options. Alright, so those were the customization options. Apart from that, this is vanilla stock Android out of the box and it looks a little bit different. It does not look like stock Android. It looks better, a lot better than stock Android. And I do appreciate the looks of this OS. Now, as you can see, I have not installed a lot of apps because I have not installed G apps. When I tried to install G apps, I had a lot of problems because it wouldn't connect to the internet and there were some other issues with Google Play services and all that. So I did not install G apps. So for this version of this OS, G apps are not working the best out there. Maybe the developer can fix that in, you know, future updates. Now, as far as display goes, this phone does come with a 144 Hertz display and this ROM does support the 144 Hertz. So if I go to display over here and I go to minimum refresh rate, it is set to 60 Hertz and maximum refresh rate is set to 144 Hertz. So basically it will automatically change the refresh rate between 60 and 144 Hertz. If I want, I can just go ahead and change it to 144 Hertz, like the minimum refresh rate and then minimum maximum both will be 144 and it will always be at 144. You also get a built-in screen recorder over here. So when you swipe down, you'll get a built-in screen recorder option right over here. And once you press that, you can record your screen. That is a very handy feature. Apart from that, the fingerprint sensor is working, the speakers are working, the Bluetooth is working, the Wi-Fi is working and everything is working. I have not faced any major bugs whatsoever apart from Google Play services. Now as far as the camera application goes, you will get a very normal basic camera application like it is not even usable. It's like a very very basic camera application and I would not suggest you to use this. So you can go ahead and download Google camera on this device. I have already made a video about it. You can go ahead and download Gcam for this device and it works like a charm. So yes, Gcam is the way to go for custom ROM as well as MIUI. Even if you use MIUI, you should use Gcam with your Mi 10T. 
All in all, I would say I really like Dot OS and I'm looking forward to using it as my daily driver on some phone or the other. It may not be this phone, but on some other phone, if it works perfectly, then I'll definitely use it. I really like it and I am interested in this ROM. So as you saw, Dot OS is amazing, especially the customization options. I really like the customization options. Now let's get to the part of how to install this custom ROM on your smartphone. There are some prerequisites. Like first up, you will need an unlocked bootloader and you will also need a custom recovery installed. Now I use TWRP recovery, but you can use any custom recovery out there. Once you have the custom recovery installed, you will need to flash only one zip file and you will be good to go. I will make sure to drop a link to that in the description box below. So definitely check it out. But yeah, the bottom line is that Dot .OS is amazing on the Mi 10T. Now, if you want me to try some other OS out there, then definitely let me know about that in the comment section down below. And I'll make sure to cover that and make a video about that as well. But anyway, this was my very quick video on Dot .OS for the Mi 10T. Do let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section down below. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.